what is Marita Finance Limited and, and what does it do? Sure. So, I mean, in form, Marita Finance Limited is an international business company incorporated in St. Lucia. But in terms of what it does or how it fits into our own architecture, it's simply a platform via which we provide our customers with investment solutions, particularly bespoke or customized investment solutions that match their particular risk slash return profile. So it's a structured note vehicle, right? That's, that's kind of how we use it. And it adds to Barita's suite of asset management products. I mean, Barita has been in the asset management business for almost 40 years, one of the older asset managers in Jamaica. We're well noted for unit trust products. We're well noted as a pension fund manager. And Barita Finance fits into a fairly new lane of asset management products for Barita referred to as structured products. So that's, that's simply it. That's, that's what Barita Finance okay. does. Now, if I, if I may add, this is this, this fairly new lane for Barita, which is structured products, is something that is it's really a beaten path for the investment banks the world over. Um, as Jamaica evolves and our fiscal dynamics change, it will become increasingly important for the investment banks to add structured products as part of their solution suite to clients as we seek to um, you know, provide differentiated value to the average customer who engages with us. Okay, okay. Oh, who controls Marita Finance? Uh, another good question, Raul. So, like all our asset management products, right? Barita acts as investment manager for Barita Finance, right? And that's a relationship consummated to an investment management agreement. But Barita Finance as an entity actually has an independent board of directors and its shares are held in trust by a trust arrangement with a reputable trustee. So similar to our unit trust products where Barita is the investment manager but doesn't own the unit trust or our pension fund products where Barita is the investment manager but doesn't own the pension fund or even our Barita Education Foundation, which is a charitable trust that Barita doesn't own, but we of course operate it and use it as a vehicle for good with a focus, we'd be in focus in the education sector. That's the, the kind of relationship that exists between Barita and Barita Finance. Okay, okay. But so intuitively though, if, if Barita, you know, doesn't own if Barita Investments doesn't own Barita Finance, why is the name Barita in Barita Finance? Another good question. It's, it's, it's branding raw. It's, it's a product. I mean, I said at the top that, you know, Barita Finance is a platform via which we provide investment solutions to our clients, similar to the Barita Unit Trust, which we don't own, similar to our Barita suite of, of pension fund solutions which we don't own so it's it's simply branded i mean like again i spoke about the foundation which is giving value to the charitable sector we, we don't own the foundation it's simply branding the product that we manage on behalf of our clients and that we we provide to our clients so, so that's the association and that's the reason for the name and and Raul, just to add to raman's remarks the 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 branding using a similar or some derivative name of the regulated entity in terms of branding a product or branding a vehicle that is managed by a regulated entity is quite commonplace in fact it's more commonly so the case uh, than not. And if you look locally, there are examples of management, investment management companies who have given their particular managed product a derivative name or label that's similar to the name of the management company. And I won't call any names here, but um, those, those examples are clear for all to see uh, here in Jamaica. Okay. But Ramon, the the investing public can can see the disclosures of Barita Unit Trust, right? Um, is is the same true for Barita Finance in terms of um, you know its financial position, etc., uh, or is it you know it just operates as a private entity? 
Well, I mean, what I would say is that the Barita Unit Trust operates via the Unit Trust regulatory strictures uh, set out by the Financial Services Commission, right? Barita Finance is a private company that offers investment solutions, importantly, to qualified investors, right? So it, it isn't necessarily subject to the same reporting criteria as, say, a unit trust product would be, but there is certainly transparency around how the vehicle operates. Uh, you know, it's, it's a big part of introducing whatever investment solution we're presenting to the different clients we, we consult um, on a qualified basis. So, you know, it, it, it isn't quite as public per se as a unit trust, but there is certainly transparency around it. Okay. So another name that there is great interest in is 294 Inc. So uh, could you give any kind of color on what 294 Inc. is and how it interacts with Marita Finance, if, you know, if it does at all? Well, 294 Inc. Is, is, a, is a separate company. It has separate directors, separate shareholders uh, from Barita Finance. They are not related. Um, we have been very open, very transparent in terms of who is behind 294 Inc. As early as October 2020, we fully dis Barita fully disclosed to the Jamaica Stock Exchange that Paul Simpson, a director of Barita Investments, is behind 294 Inc. Um, for, for anybody who would not have been privy to that disclosure to the Jamaica Stock Exchange, they only need to look in Barita's annual report for 2020 to see this disclosure. So there is no mystery to the fact that 294 Inc. is controlled by Paul Simpson. So it's been very clear that the directors and, and shareholders of Barita Finance are separate and have nothing to do with the directors and shareholders of 294 Inc. And that extends as well, generally, to the companies owned by directors on the boards of Barita or Cornerstone. Okay.